that is that for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was the chairman of the director. Yes, sir. Let's see. Is this the tour? Oh, what's the name now? Oh, governor. Yes, sir. Let's see. The deputy governor, Professor Plastic Njoku, of deputy, my own husband. My own companion, our honorable right on the region, the Our own chief of staff, are the staff commander. And uh, permit me to sit on the existing protocol, please. IPM Ross and Governor. Yes, I say. Honestly, today is a very special day in my life. And uh, I know that we are going to win this election from the one. I told people that were challenging. I told them by myself, I said, you are not going anywhere because I know this man. I know you, your humility, your generosity, your tenacity. I've known you for more than 20 years. And I'm one of those that benefited your generosity in 2002. And I know you, I love something from you. What I love from you is that you don't talk too much, but you are an action man. <laughs> Today's occasion by our convener. Our convener did so much to the women, the grassroots women. If you watch that day, you get to the report of the sun. Every other woman from the Buga region, they were okay. And they are so happy. They are happy with our convener. Your Excellency, your victory is not something someone who has said, ah, what happened? But you let it be. And thank God, and I'm one of the people that have been part of this victory. We say, God, to continue to strengthen you and continue to live for us so that the world will see that you are the only governor that in the South East everybody wants to come before. God bless you. <laughs> that was the woman I
exactly gone up in Muslim. The leader of FPC Southeast. The chairman of Progressive Governance Forum of Nigeria. The Excellency, I want to sincerely, even though I don't have a cap on my head, but I want to sincerely remove my cap. Yes, yes. Yes, let's see the Deputy Governor of Imo State, the Chief of Staff to the Government of Imo State, the Chief Political Advisor, and my own leader, the man after my heart, a lion himself, the man who I always break the door, I always even the highest proposition in Imo State because I know that someone will always come for me, the convener of this day. <laughs> yes, I see. When the law turned again the capital of desire, we were like them that drink. Our mouth filled with joy. And our enemies, the opposition we are talking, is like the Lord has done it again. Of course, the Lord has done it again. The Excellency, today we are filled with joy. Our mouth is filled with laughter because the Lord has done it for us. Yes, I see the victory of 11 to 11 is symbolic. Very, very remarkable. Yes, sir. In the history of the state, that a governorship candidate, no past governor openly campaigned against the governorship candidate. <laughs> That we are not talking about the 25 percent of the two to talk, rather 27 over 27. Yes. Yes. This is breaking the Guinness record. Yes, let's see when your kinsmen send you to a market to purchase a communion item. It is very sweet. For your sense, it is sweeter and better when you are sent for the second time. Yes. What it means is that you have done very, very well. Yes. Your sense, you have done very, very well. And just like my beautiful said, permit me to appreciate these men and women here. Yes, let's I must tell you, we are part and parcel of the struggle that brought about this victory. <laughs> and to that, Your Excellency, I want you to permit me to appreciate a man who will always, I've always said this, who will always cherish relationship than every other thing. He told me when we started doing it. He told me, I asked him a question. When we did the budget of our inauguration, it was running into 105 million. And I asked him, but why are you, why are you investing? Why, why all this? What's your interest? He told me it is all about the relationship. That he's doing this because of a long time relationship he has built with you. Your Excellency, I want to take the opportunity to salute him and appreciate him for being a man who values relationship. My convener, I will always work with you. For this singular reason, I will always work with you. Anytime, any day. Thank you for the opportunity to give all of us to be here today. Your Excellency, I want to leave you again. I started with Bible quotation and I want to leave you again with description. The success of recognizing the state 
we are without violence. They were violent attack. They were strong blackmail. They were strong plot. They were strong conspiracy against you. But God was with you. Yes. And on that note, I want to tell you, Your Excellency, this second coming is a stepping tone to the much good thing to come. But remember that they will not come without opposition. They will not come without odds. There must always be a club in the way of progress. But remember that from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God surpassed by us. And bonus! By force. Thank you, Yes, this on this note. Permit me to enjoy the grace of bringing a man that has made this possible to you. And I told them that in any way people 
everybody tries to come around, get close to the Excellency, that this structure should be an attack dog against anybody that will try to attack His Excellency. <laughs> yes, Excellency, I was able to carry this uh, structure to the level where we are now because of the support you gave me. Without your support, your empowerment, which you gave to me, I couldn't have done this. It's only true empowerment. Each time people continue to tell me what do I want, I tell them I want His Excellency to return. That's only what I want. So people go about rumoring, the is looking for this and looking for that. I'm not looking for anything until His Excellency will ask me, this is where you want to go. We are aware that even the National Assembly I am now, I wasn't interested. But because you know what I can do, you ask me to come and run. And of course, I cannot disobey you when you ask me to do something. And I graciously came up, and by the grace of God, God we are in the National Assembly today. Your Excellency, thank you very much. Your Excellency, you have done very, very well. And that's why I continue be proud of you. I said, and I want to repeat, do not because of what people do, what they work against you, the things they do against you, and renege from the God-sent works he has asked you to come and complete on earth. Yes, so and I know the person you are. You are a man with a golden heart. So, well, I don't have any doubt in my mind that you will uh, always reward hard work. I'm very much aware of it. These gentlemen and the women, they have really worked hard. My appeal, which I know you will certainly do, you, when you will be constituting your next government so that some of them can be remembered. In the I said, look at His Excellency here. What do you want? Your Excellency, here in IPM, we have this city. Since we started, we have sacked three directors who could not implement our principle of giving the people what we gave to them. Because on a very short notice, you call IPM people from the grassroots before you know it, everybody will come around. Because they know that when they come, they will go with their transport and everything. I told you that you will talk to me that politics is more than a
the chairman duty of Imo Progressive Movement, Honorable William Ejako, the Director General of IPM, and other directors of Imo Progressive Movement. All members of the Imo Progressive Movement here, all Imo Progressive Movement women, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very humbled by this visit and being full of uh, excitement for the vibrance and life I've seen in this movement. Officially welcome you to Copenhagen. I was overwhelmed with joy in the day IBM was inaugurated at the University of School. The number of enthusiastic heads, sea of heads, I saw. When I came out from this ceremony, I was very sure that the impact of our message will resonate from the grassroots. Because in discussing with the governor, he told me that the membership is widely decentralized and that we are up to the polling units. I did my private investigation. I saw this movement as a very good one, very efficient and effective. And you were very active during the elections and more practical. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. So I want to thank you for that. Um, every child is expected to behave like the father or the mother. Yes. The GNTV is very dependent, he's a very reliable person. Who was given an assignment will deliver with little or no supervision. Yes, sir. So I have no, no doubt in my mind that if IBM is his product, the characteristics of the gene and IBM will be the characteristics of the uh, democracy. <laughs> so I, I'm, you are here to congratulate me. Yes. I'm also here to congratulate you. <laughs>
Sa caméra ça. Uguta and Oru West National Assembly. Precisely House of Representatives. IPM is a structure. And IPM means more progressive movement. And it's a platform dedicated first and foremost for the re-election of the distinguished later who president man. Like you can see, we've achieved our first objective by making sure that Imo people, mostly the progressives, that they came out and supported, voted the governor. And today, governor is the governor-elect, of course, an incumbent governor of the state. And that's the first thing we have done. IPM is a standard structure, it's not a pivot structure, Neither is an ad hoc structure. No. IPM has come to stay in Imo State. And IPM is simply being progressive, pursuing good governance in Imo State, making sure that it serves as a pressure group to put pressure on any governmental structure to ensure that the right thing is being done towards the development of the state. That is what I understand. Apart from the fact. And we cut across party lines and the IPM, like you can see, membership was drawn from various political parties who are progressives, who are very, very interested in seeing that the way being of the state. So that is IPM. Okay. So uh, we we'll, we'll see your structure, no doubt. Uh, for the election for the support of the Senate, how long is this going to be sustained? Well, like I told you, by my explanation, when I said it, it's not ad hoc or b board structure, it's a standing structure, it's a standing platform. So it, it's going to last as long as Imo State will last. Like at IPM, we always say that Imo must prevail. So we are here to ensure to push from the governance. So, happy you guys can to stay in the state. Thank you very much.